Hi everybody. In this video I'm going to drill the hole in the handle for the uh, quarter inch tubing at a 45 degree angle. I'll show you how I do that. After I pick up this tab I screw a hand piece together and there's a reason for that. I like to put this tab at the bottom and getting a good marking pencil here I like to mark where I'm going to drill that hole so I know with the hand piece screwed all the way in this hole is going to be at the bottom when you're holding the hand piece so then you start from there and screw it out one turn at a time to uh, tune it and adjust it to your liking so now that I've got it marked let me go ahead and Get it in the vise here and pick up center. I want my mark straight up and down here. And snug it up. And I'm going to use that same tool I used yesterday or the other day to pick up the center of my center of the part up here Come down to it just touch it and let's get it lined back up here that looks pretty good so now I've got it centered over the part. I'll lock it down. And I'll be drilling it with a D drill. It's .246, so it's a little under a little bit under a quarter inch and the tubing you want to get is at a quarter inch but there's something else I've I've been buying my tubing from Menards and it seems like every time I go up there it's a different size now I want to make sure it's set to the middle this direction Find the top, just eyeballing it. That'll be close enough right there. Now the diameter of the handle is one inch and a quarter. So I really don't want to go any deeper than half that, which is 0.625. So I'm going to dial it in because if I go deeper, I can actually hit the threads on the other side. And I'd really like to avoid that. So let's tighten, let's get a, get a hold of it. Okay, there's a start. Set my indicator to zero and dial in 625. See that? Look very. Clean it up. Yeah, there you go. Okay. See through that. Now, when it's screwed all the way onto the handpiece, 
it'll line up with the bottom so you can hold it. Uh, I was talking about the tubing. Now I've ran into at least three, probably four different sizes of it. This being one of the smaller ones. I just drilled this out to point two four six, and this should be quarter inch. Well, it's not. It's way under a quarter inch. So it would just fall in and out of there. Now, if you wind up with some tubing like that, you can use these these little things that come with the compression fittings. And you can slide that your tube up in into the uh, handpiece and you can so now you've got a, a loose tube here what I've done is I've cut one of these down in half and you can stick it in the end of your in the end of the tubing like that and then pull it back through real hard and it's not coming out and if you just make a short little jumper And just make you a little jumper to where you can plug in and out. Now, that's just one of the problems that I've run into with different batches of this quarter inch tubing. And some of it's larger, some of them you're, you're going to play heck trying to shove them into that hole. And so that's when I, I came up with this size, works the best for me. I try to find a tubing that's a little bit larger than 250, a good majority of it is to where you have to force it into that hole real good and it'll it'll stay there. So that's all I have for this video. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day. Later. Bye.